Welcome to St. Vincent's Hospital, Melbourne, home of Australia's first hospital-based biofabrication lab. What biofabrication means is literally building body parts using living cells. The new paradigm we're working towards is the ability to take cells from patients, load them in special machines called bioprinters, print out artificial tissues, grow them in the lab, and then re-implant those tissues or organs in the same patient. That's perfect. Welcome to the hospital of the future. Biofab 3D is unique not just for the facilities, but also the collaboration. The facility is shared by five partners, including four universities, that's RMIT, Swinburne, the University of Melbourne, and the University of Wollongong, as well as St. Vincent's Hospital Melbourne. So each partner brings something different to the table, and working together at Biofab 3D, we can achieve things that um, couldn't be done individually. The biofabrication process involves four broad steps. First is the engineering, the materials and device development, which makes everything else possible. For example, for every tissue type we are trying to create, we need to tailor a particular material, what we call a bioink, for printing the cells. The second step is 3D bioprinting. Our capabilities include multi-material and multi-cell printing to create complex tissues. The third step is cell culture. We are specialized in 3D cell culture. Sometimes we need to provide a particular stimulus, such as a mechanical or electrical signal, to nudge the stem cells along a particular pathway of development. The fourth step is quality control. This is the molecular biology lab, where we keep tabs on the biochemical signals lighting up, telling us what's going on inside the cells and if they're following the path we'd like them to. Through a close connection with clinicians, we target projects on the cusp of translation. I'm Claudia Di Bella, I'm an orthopaedic surgeon at St. Vincent's Hospital, and I also am a senior research fellow at the University of Melbourne. What I do, I treat patients with arthritis, um, patients with joint uh, problems, and patients with tumours. Uh, and many times I find difficulties and challenges in surgery that I wish we had a solution for. The Biofab 3D is the place where these solutions can be found. The Biofab 3D is a biofabrication hub where multidisciplinary team of uh, biologists, engineers, and clinicians work together, driven by the clinicians to solve um, surgical and clinical problems. One of the major uh, development that we had here was the BioPen. The BioPen is a surgical printer that can be used by the surgeon directly in surgery. So it can be held in your hand and it can really draw the material with the cells directly in surgery. So the next step is going to be to use this in our very first large preclinical animal model. So by following the similar steps and what we've done in our pilot study, uh, where all we wanted to do was really just to prove that we could use this instrument as a, as a surgical instrument, then we had the results of fantastic new cartilage formation in a short term. What we want to do now is to prove that not just we can use this instrument, but that the results that we have are superior compared to all the clinical solutions that we have at the moment, and they are long-lasting. The BioPen has an incredible potential. It can be really used by any surgeon. So we are moving towards commercialization to create something that in one package can then be used by anyone in any hospital, in any surgical operating room uh, in Australia, and maybe even around the world. BioFab 3D is also the precursor to a much larger initiative called the Aikenhead Centre for medical discovery. This will become a research hub of medical device development in Australia where we integrate uh, clinical research, uh, materials development, engineering and industry to create uh, new products, new companies uh, to treat patients using this convergence of engineering uh, and medical research. Mm -hmm.